Hello, beginners class. This is for the white, yellow, orange belts. All right, so this is day two of our week one. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, actually, before we get started, just a reminder, mom and dad, please make sure that you have water uh, for the kids or something to drink. Um, let's set aside uh, for them to have when we have our water break, all right? All right, kids, ready? Let's go ahead and start with our hands on our back. Okay, ready? So as fast as we can, I know you guys are at home, but we still want to move fast, okay? So when I say trip, you know, put your feet together and slap your side as fast as you can. Okay, ready? Hands behind our back. And trip. Salum ke kie. Good job. Say, anya hashmika. Good job. All right, um, beginners class, let's go ahead and put our hands on our heart, and we're gonna set the student creed. Ready? Repeat after me. I intend to vote myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that reduces my mental growth or my physical health. I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best of myself and others. I intend to use my learning class constructively and defensively to help myself and fellow man and to never be abusive or offensive. Good job. Face this way. Chut. Salam kit kunye. All right. Um, again, mom and dad, I'm going to ask you for a big favor. Um, please, if the just in case the live video freezes and it's you can see the little floating circle, um, you don't hear me talking or you don't see me moving, uh, please shoot me a email or a text for those of you who have my phone number and let me know. Okay. Um, if I see it not responding and uh, I'll end the live chat and I'll start a new one. Okay. So if you notice that happens, go ahead and just refresh the page, go back to the discovery, uh, the DMA 209 YouTube page, and then just look for the new live video. Okay. So just a heads up in case this uh, live video disconnects. Okay. Uh, no problems last time. So we should be good. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go and get started. Okay. So we're going to start with bouncing. Okay. We're going to go ahead and bounce, but instead of just bouncing in place, what we're going to do is we're going to actually step back with our right leg, and we're going to bounce in our guarding stance, okay? So shake your right leg and step back, and hands up, and bounce in place. Good. So same thing, but we're just bouncing in a guarding stance, okay? So from this angle, I'm just doing this, okay? So you can bounce up and down. When I fight, I like to bounce back and forth. I like to switch it up a little bit, okay? Just make sure you're bouncing, okay? Bouncing, bouncing. Good job. All right, and then when I say switch, you're gonna switch stance and bounce the other way. Okay, ready? And switch and keep bouncing. So I'm on my toes, okay? If you guys notice, you can see that my heel doesn't touch the floor. Okay? And switch. Switch. Switch, 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 switch. And notice when I'm bouncing in my garden stance, my body's not facing this way. It's a little bit sideways. And always keep those hands up. Switch, switch, switch. Stay with me, all right, ready? Switch, 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 switch. Switch, 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 good, and relax. All right, shake out your legs. Shake them out, shake them out. Good. Whew. All right, let's go ahead, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick up our leg, okay? So usually when we do our high knees, we put our hands by our belt, right, or our stomach level. What we're gonna do is we actually put our hands up near our chest, so it's a little bit higher, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up our knee as high as we can, trying to touch our hand, okay? Boom, just like that, okay? And take your time, it's not a race, okay? We just wanna bring our knee high up, okay? And go. One, two, three, four, five, stay with me, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Now, we're gonna do the same exact thing but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn a little bit, and you know how my left leg, or I'm sorry, my left leg touched my left hand? I'm gonna switch it now, I'm gonna reach across 
and my left leg is going to touch my right hand. Okay, so not this, but I'm going to touch the opposite hand now. All right, I'm going to do 10 of those. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, guys. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop side to side on one leg, okay? Hopscotch style, okay? So you guys know what hopscotch is? All right, so if you remember, maybe some of you guys have this at your playground at school, we have the squares, right? And you're hopping on one leg, hopping like that, right? So something similar like that, we're gonna hop on one leg to one side. So if I hop to my right side, I'm gonna hop onto my right leg, okay? Try to keep your balance, okay? And then hop to your left, stay on your left leg, okay? So we're gonna do that 10 times, okay? And just don't do this, stay in one spot, okay? We wanna hop, so try to make some distance, okay? All right, ready? Let's do 10 together. Now when you do this, try to keep your back straight, okay guys? Back straight, don't hunch over. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, all right, awesome job, guys. All right, now let's go ahead and bounce in place. Bounce in place, normal bouncing, okay? All right, keep bouncing. All right, now when I say go, keep bouncing while I explain. When I say go, we're gonna jump straight to our hopscotch, okay? We're gonna do five, so when I say go, we're gonna hop one, two, up to five, when you finish your five, you're gonna go back to bouncing. And then we'll do another five after that, okay? Ready? Hopefully, let me explain that one more time. So I'm bouncing. When I say go, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, back to bouncing, and then hold it. Wait till I say go again, and we'll do five more, okay? Ready, bouncing. Ready? When I say go, we're gonna do five hop scotches. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, and back to regular bouncing. Okay, we get ready, we're gonna do five more, okay? Wait till I say go. And go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, and relax. Good job, guys. All right, shake out your legs. Okay, all right, kids. Now let's do 10, no. Now let's do 10 jumping jacks, okay? Ready? 10 jumping jacks. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, hold it right there. Finish your ten. All right. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to go on your push-up position, okay? Uh, what you see that I'm about to do, it's going to be different from what you're doing at home, okay? What you're doing at home is what you guys normally do. I have to... Alternate, I have to switch up what I'm doing, okay? For physical, um, to physical circumstances, okay? So you guys are gonna do your normal push-ups, okay? So again, for your normal push-ups, you're either in your warrior push-ups where you have your knees, or you're gonna go on your toes, all right? And you're gonna do 10, all right? So 10 push-ups, all right? Remember, you guys are gonna do regular. Uh, what I'm doing is a little bit different, okay? I have to switch up my workouts for a while. All right, ready? So you're gonna do your 10 push-ups, and I'm gonna do my 10. Okay, ready? And go. Good. Okay. And when you're done, go ahead and sit up straight. Okay, we'll let everyone else catch up with her 10 to finish. All right. Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to do your regular crunches, okay? Again, I'm going to be doing something different. 
Okay, I have to. I'm um, to work out. So you guys are going to be doing your regular crunches where you have your feet off the ground, knees up, hands behind your head, and you're going to touch your elbows to your knees. Okay? And you're going to do 15. All right? 15 regular crunches. I'll be doing something else. Okay? Ready? And you guys do your 15 crunches and go. Good job. When you're going to do crunches, go and stand up, okay? Okay, stand up. Okay, let's do 15 more jumping jacks. Ready? And go. Good. All right. Finish your jumping jacks. All right, guys. Now go back to your push-up position, okay? You guys are going to do your regular push-ups again. Again, not just going to be doing something different. And we're going to do 10 push-ups, okay? Ready? And go. All right. Uh, so finish your 10 push ups. When you're done, go and flip over onto your back. So we're going to do 15 more crunches, okay? 15 more crunches. You can touch your elbows to your knees. Again, I'm going to do modified ab workouts. So you guys stick your crunches and let's do 15. Ready? Go. Done, go ahead and stand up. Good. All right, let's jump into our stretches, okay, guys? So, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and open up our legs a little bit. Okay, shoulder width apart. Well, actually, wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to reach down straight to the middle and front, okay? Ready? And down. Ha. Two. Set. Bend. Dase, dase, yoga, yo, aho, yo. Good job. All right. Now, keeping legs apart, we're going to go ahead and keeping our back straight, we're going to lean over to one side and touch our ankle. Ready and go. Hana, dool, set, ne, dase, yase, yoga, yo, aho, yo. All right. Now, reach over to the other ankle, try to keep your back straight. Hana, do, set, ne, jase, yase, yoga, yo, aho, yo. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and have a seat. Okay, have a seat. And let's put our legs out and shake it out. Shake out your legs. Toes facing up. And reach for your toes. Touch, hana, do. Set, ne, dase, dase, yoga, yo, aho, yo. Good. All right. And now we're going to turn our back side to side. Hey, washing machine. And 
And reach for our toes one more time. Touch, hana, do, sit, ne, tase, yasit, yoga, iru, aho, yoga. All right, keep one leg straight, then the other one, make the letter L for our hurdle stretch. And let's reach to the toes on our straight leg, ready, and down. Hana, do, sit, ne, tase, yasit, yoga, iru, aho, Yo. All right, let's try to touch our head to our knee, okay? Or our chin to our knee. And down. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Tase. Yase. Yoga. Yero. Ahu. Yo. All right, let's switch legs. Okay, and we should toe on the other leg. Down. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Tase. Yase. Yoga. And try to touch our head to our knee or our chin to our knee. Down. Hana. Two. Set. Net. Tase. Yase. Yoga. Yero. Aho. Yo. All right. And bring our legs in for butterfly stretch. Feet together. Try to bring it as close as you can to your body. Count your knees up and down. And we're gonna push our knees down. Try to reach your head to your toes. Hana, do, set, ne, dase, yase, yoga, hero, aho, yo. Good, all right, okay, let's go ahead and stand up. All right, let's go ahead and fix our clothes, fix our belt, our uniform, fix your t-shirt. All right, and let's run and get a quick water break, go. Okay, hopefully everyone's back. All right, those of you who are back, let's give everyone else a 10 second countdown to come back. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, so what we're gonna do today to um, work on our footwork is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on sliding forward and sliding backward, okay? So some of you guys might be familiar with this. So one thing I want to add is make sure that you guys have your hands up, okay? Make sure you have your hands up when we do our uh, footwork, okay? So right now, shake your right leg. Mom and dad at home, please help your child with their right leg if they're having trouble. All right, right leg. All right, when I say step back guarding stance, you guys want to step back with that right leg. Right leg, give me a good strong key out, okay, ready? Step back guarding stance, Good, all right, now hands up. Good, okay, so. When I say forward, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our back leg and we're gonna move it forward so our feet are together, okay? And my front leg is gonna step forward, all right? So from this angle, this is what I'm doing. One, two, all right? But obviously if we're doing that, that's slow, right? So we wanna do it as fast as we can. Boom, okay? Let's do this. Okay, ready? And uh, make sure you're not too close to the screen, okay? Because we're gonna be moving forward I want you guys to hit the TV screen or the computer screen. All right, ready? And forward, forward. And let's do one more, ready, forward. Good, and go back, all right. Okay, so now make sure you have room behind you, okay? Because now we're gonna work on sliding back, okay? So opposite, we're gonna take our front leg and we're gonna move it back, feet together. And our back leg is gonna slide back again. This is kind of slow, right? One, two. So what we want to do is make it fast. Boom, all right? Boom, okay? Ready? So again, make sure you have room behind you. Okay, ready? And one, two, and three. Good, all right. And I'm gonna make some room for me also. All right, so let's go back to our body stance. Ready? Now when I say forward, 
You're going to slide forward. When I say backward, you're going to slide backwards. Okay, ready? So let's test those listening skills. Okay, ready? Guarding stance. Ready? And forward. Forward. Back. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Forward. Back. Back. Good. All right. Relax. Okay. Keep your guarding stance, though, okay? When I say switch, remember, for some of my guys who know how to switch, what do my legs want to do? We want to pretend our legs are like what? They're moving like we use them to cut. What do we use to cut? Scissors, all right? So we want to keep our legs close. Boom. All right? See how my legs are close? So if I have two walls next to me, I should be able to switch my legs without hitting the walls, okay? So that's one. I don't want to do this. Okay, that's too wide. I want to keep it close. Okay? And turn sideways. Boom, all right? So when I say switch, give me a good strong key out, okay? So I say switch, ayah, switch, ayah, okay? As fast as you can. Ready? And switch, switch. Keep your hands up, switch, 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 switch. Good. All right, now let's put all three footwork together, okay? All three feet work. Ready? So we're going to go forward, backward, or switch, depending what I want to call out, okay? All right, so take that right leg, step back, go ahead and stand. Okay, ready? And listening skills on, ready? And forward, back, forward, back, forward. Switch, back, forward, switch, back, switch, forward, forward, switch, 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 forward, back, back, switch, 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 forward, switch, 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 stop. <laughs> Good job, guys. Awesome. All right. So that's our footwork, okay? So obviously, um, just to give a quick explanation, let's say I'm sparring, you know, when you guys become green belts and we start sparring. If my opponent is far away, I can't kick them. I can't reach with my kicks. If I want to get closer, what do I do? I use my footwork. I'm going to slide forward so I can reach. Okay, I'm going to slide forward and kick so I can reach with the other leg, okay? And just the opposite, if I'm close enough and we could kick each other and my opponent tries to kick me, I want to get out of the way. Sure, I could block, right? But when you block, you can still feel the hit sometimes. So I don't want to feel the hit at all. So I want to get out of the way. Someone kicks, footwork. I slide back, okay? That's why I want to keep my hands up, okay? Because sometimes I might not be fast enough to slide back, right? I might slide back, but it's a little bit too slow and I might still get kicked, but luckily I have my hands to back me up to block just in case, okay? So someone kicks, it's like that, okay? And also, I want to switch, right? Because this is where they want to hit, right? They want to hit the stomach. If I want to protect my stomach, I can switch and put my hand up to block behind me, okay? So I'm gonna switch, boom, switch, all right? And also switching helps uh, trick your opponent at times, okay? So very important, all right? So make sure you guys practice those uh, footwork at home. All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead and practice our front kick, okay, with our footwork, okay? So who knows what our first, our first footwork that we worked on? It was sliding forward, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide forward and we're gonna take our back leg, okay? So shake your back leg. And we're gonna do a back leg roundhouse kick. Boom, okay? So remember my roundhouse kick, I'm gonna turn sideways and kick, okay? Who remembers what part of my foot do I kick with? It's called the instep, and the instep is what part of my foot? Is it on the bottom, the side? It's the top of my foot, okay? So right here, top of my foot. So if I wear shoes, that's where my shoelaces are. That's what I'm gonna kick with, okay? Or I'm gonna kick with my shin, okay? So we're gonna slide forward and back of roundhouse kick. Okay, now, ready? Good guarding stance, make sure you're not too close to the TV screen or the computer screen so you don't hit it. Okay, ready? So we're gonna slide forward, back of the rouse kick, and land in front, land in front, 
So the leg that you just kicked with should be in front. All right, now what's our second foot that we did? It was sliding back. So ready, slide back, boom. One more time, slide back, boom. All right, now stay right there. Okay, so now I should have my other leg in back, my left leg. So now I'm gonna do it again, ready? I'm gonna slide forward, back with rounds kick. Now I'm kicking with my other leg. Good, land in front. And then I'm gonna slide back, one, slide back, two. All right, so after I kick, I'm gonna slide back twice. Make some room, okay? And then, ready, let's go right here. Slide forward, back leg rounds kick. Slide back two times, ready, go. One, two. Ready, slide forward, round kick, go. Boom, good. Two slides back, go. One, two. One more time on both sides, okay, ready? Slide forward, back the round kick, go. Good, all right, slide back two times. One, two. Slide forward, back the round kick, go. One, two, good. Now slide back one more time, two times, ready, go. One, two. Awesome job, all right, good job, guys. All right, shake out your legs, shake out your legs. All right, now go back to go ahead and stand, turn, take the right leg, step back, right hands, ah yeah. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide forward. Slide forward, and we're gonna kick with our front leg. Boom, okay, so we're gonna break it down to two steps. One, two, okay, ready, and go. One, stop, pick up your front leg, two. Good, now how many times do we slide back? Two times, ready, go. One, two, all right. Ready, slide up once, front leg bounce kick. I mean, yeah, front leg round house kick, slide back two times. One, two, again, one more time. Ready, slide forward, front leg, kick. Good, and slide back two times. One, two, all right. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a fast kick, okay? It's part of our sparring forms that we've done before, okay? So what we just, it's very similar to what we just did. Slide forward and front leg ground kick. But we're not gonna stop, okay? As we slide forward, when my feet come together, I'm gonna pick up my front leg right away and kick, okay? So I'm not going to feet together, open. I'm just gonna go feet together, kick, okay? So one more time. Do not do this. Do not go feet together, Open, kick. What we're doing is we're going feet together, kick, front leg, okay? So it looks like this. Boom, that's how it looks, okay? One more time, boom, all right? So let's try that, ready? Hands up, and fast kick, go. Good, slide back, and again, fast kick, go. Good, slide back. And one more time, three. Good, and slide back. All right, ready? Now let's switch. When I say switch, you guys give me a good strong key eye. Okay, ready? And switch, 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 switch. Good job, All right? So now we should have our right leg, our, our left leg in back, okay? So since our right leg is in back, I'm gonna be kicking with my front leg, which is my right leg, okay? So mom and dad, please help them out. Make sure that their right leg is in front. So same thing, okay? Feet together, pick up your front leg right away, and kick. <clears throat> Ready? And fast kick, go. Good, slide back, and fast kick, go. Slide back, one more time, fast kick, go. Good, and slide back. Good job, guys. All right, so relax at home. What you do now is, if you notice, we did our footwork and you have the option to kick with either leg. You could do footwork and kick with the front leg and you could do footwork or kick with the back leg, okay? And if I could do that, you think I could slide back and then kick? Yes, I can, okay? I could kick with the front leg or the back leg, okay? So same thing when I go forward, right? I could do the same thing, I could slide back, kick front leg, or I can slide back and kick with the back leg. Okay, so I can do the same thing going forward or going backwards, okay? Now, if I could do the same kicks going forward and backward, what if I switch legs? What if I switch legs? Can I do the same thing? I can do the same thing, okay, watch. Switch, front leg kick. 
or switch, backward kick. Ooh. So same thing, okay? You could do any kick with any kind of footwork, all right? That's when you guys get to become creative, all right? And then that way you could switch up your technique. That way when you get to green belt and you start learning how to spar, you could have different options. Because if I do the same thing over and over and over again, guess what? My opponent, when I become a green belt and I start passing the spar, they'll know what I'm doing. If I'm always sliding forward and kicking with my front leg, guess what? They know how to learn to protect from your front leg. So you want to learn how to kick with your front leg and your back leg and mix it up with the footwork, sliding forward, backward, and switching. Okay? So when you guys are at home, you know, just go ahead and practice, all right? You know, you don't have to really think. Just boom, whatever happens. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay, so have fun, all right? Beginners class, you guys get to take this time to practice those basic moves, the sliding forward, those front kicks, those roundhouse kicks, punches, okay? So have fun with that, all right, guys? It'll get you guys a little bit more prepared when you get to intermediate, all right? Good job, guys. All right, face this way. Chip. Someone can kick. Yeah. Good job. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and get another quick water break and come back, and then we'll go ahead and I'll share a quote with you guys, okay, for a discussion. Ready and go. Okay. All right, here it is. Okay, so um, if you guys were on live on Monday, or if you watched the video from Monday, anytime from Monday to now, if you were able to watch the video, um, who did we do our quote on? I'll give you a hint, he played a superhero. It's probably easier to remember what superhero he played. The quote from, who was a superhero? It was, Captain America, okay? And the actor who played Captain America is Chris Evans, okay? So this is what he said, okay? There we go. We got a, <laughs> a comment on the side. Yes, it was Captain America, okay? So a little background on this quote. Now, obviously, you guys know that um, you've probably seen the Marvel movies, okay? A bunch of them, and they tend to have sequels. Okay, so if you look at Captain America, he's been on a lot of movies, right? So Chris Evans, as an actor, when you get a role, when you have a certain role to play and you have these sequels uh, of that same character that you're playing, that's a long-term commitment, okay? And for an actor, that can be scary because that kind of prevents you from branching out to other projects, okay? Because you're scheduled for all these movies and you have this... Um, same character that you're playing and obviously some uh, majority of actors, actresses they want to have versatility in their acting right? But when you're a superhero you know you're kind of limited especially with the Marvel movies because you have so many movies to appear in okay and for Chris Evans that, that was a scary thing so he was very hesitant to be Captain America okay but as we all know he ended up taking up the role and it was because of this okay Remember, he was scared to be Captain America, okay? And then this is what convinced him to go ahead and make that commitment. He said, it was that it was so scary. The fact that I was so scared of it, it just kind of felt like that's exactly what you should be doing. Anything you're scared of, you should push yourself to do it. All right, let me say it one more time. Ready? It was that it was so scary. The fact that I was so scared of it, just kind of felt like that's exactly what you should be doing. Anything you're scared of, you should push yourself to do it. All right? So imagine if uh, Chris Evans didn't become Captain America, okay? Um, the Marvel movies are very successful, all right? And it made Chris Evans, just like the other um, actors and actresses, household names. It made him very, very, very popular, okay? Um, but it was... Uh, what, 10 year process maybe, since he first became uh, Captain America all the way up to the last movie he was in. So that's a long time, okay? But, you know, he did it and it paid off, okay? So um, we could apply that to ourselves, okay? Um, how many of you guys have been scared to do something before? I'm sure everyone has been, okay? And that's something you're gonna face uh, 
for the majority of your life, okay? There's always going to be something that you're scared to try or scared to do, okay? But that means, you know what, that might be a sign that you should do it, okay? But, of course, you want to consider your safety, okay? And you want to make sure that it's logical, okay, that it makes sense. When I say that, I mean, for example, me, um, I'm scared of heights when it comes to a certain level, okay? So even though I'm scared of heights, that doesn't mean I'm going to go on top of a 10 or 15 story building and jump off. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. All right. Most likely if I want to conquer that fear, I'm going to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Or I'm going to go bungee jumping. I'm going to do it the safe way to conquer my fear. Okay. So when you approach your fear or you attempt to conquer your fear, make sure that you think about it and make sure you do it safely. You do it the right way. Okay guys. And, um, and something more relatable. Uh, maybe some of you guys have to do a project at school, a uh, presentation, right? Where you have to go in front of the class and you have a project and you have to talk about your project in front of the class, in front of those 20, 25, 30 classmates that you have, right? And, uh, you know, public speaking is one of the things that a lot of people are afraid of that makes them nervous, okay? But you know what? Your grade is on the line and you just have to do it, okay? And the more you do it, guess what? The more comfortable you become, okay? So, you know, that's something that, that we also practice at our martial arts school, okay? So, you know, we uh, have the, when we call them up, you know, we want them to get used to being called upon, all right? We want them to get used to uh, being in front of the class when other people are watching, right? So imagine you're testing, you know, we call you guys up sometimes two or three or four at a time and you're in front doing your test and everyone's watching. Now that could be nervous and that's just understandable, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you become. All right. So that's kind of practice for your own school uh, presentations. Okay. Um, one more thing, uh, you know, when we go do our belt testing, sometimes you guys have to break boards, right? Um, some of you guys are ready and just super brave and ready to break your boards, right? But some of you guys were a little bit nervous, right? Maybe you guys were a little, little bit afraid. I mean, and you know what? That, that's fine because you're breaking a board, a piece of wood that comes from a, from a giant tree, right? My small hand is going to go, is supposed to go through a board or my foot is supposed to go through a piece of wood, all right? So that's understandably so. But even though you were nervous and it might have taken you one time to break it, maybe two times, three times, maybe more than that. But you eventually broke it. And how'd you feel after you broke that board? You felt good, right? And in turn, see all that nervousness, that anxiety, that fear that you were uh, feeling, that, that, that board that you were once scared of, it's broken now. And now you feel good. So that feeling turned into joy, you know, turned into something that you could be proud of. All right. So when those those moments like that, when you actually take those things that you're scared of and you do it anyways, guess what? That's an, that's an experience that you can use in the future. So now when you get scared to do something sometime in the future in your life, you could always go back to that time where you're like, hey, I was scared to break that board or I was scared to go in front of the class and speak, but I did it. And it helps you in your current situation that you might be afraid to do something also. So you can always come back to that um, experience and use it as inspiration or motivation or a reminder that, hey, you know, I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Because last time I was scared and I did what I wanted and I did what I was scared of, I felt good. And I, you know, it's gonna make me feel good now if I do this again. So that's something that you guys can do, okay? So one more time, let me repeat that quote before I close it out. It was that was so scary. The fact that I was so scared of it, it just kind of felt like that's exactly what you should be doing. Anything you're scared of, you should push yourself to do it. All right? And guess what? If Chris Evans, uh, you know, listened to his fear and stayed scared and didn't go after it, he literally wouldn't have become a superhero. Okay? See? So by conquering your fear, he technically became a superhero. So that's pretty awesome, right? And I'm pretty sure you guys at home, you kids, you know, it would be pretty cool to be a superhero, right? All right? I mean, I love to be a superhero, okay? So that's awesome. All right, guys? So remember that, okay? And one thing before I close it out, 
you don't have to do it by yourself, okay? If you're scared of something, if you're scared to do something, you know, guess what? There are people out there who can help you, okay? You know, mom and dad, you know, they're there to help you. So go ahead and ask them for some help, all right? It's like, mom, dad, I'm scared to do my presentation. Can you guys help me a little bit? And you know what? Them just watching you practice, that helps a lot, okay? Or you could ask your brothers or sisters to help you. Your family members, okay? Your friends, your good friends that you can trust, you can ask them for help too, okay? So even though you're trying to conquer some kind of fear or something that you're scared of, remember, you don't always have to do it alone, okay? You can, but it's nice to have a little backup, okay? It's nice to have a little rooting section to help you overcome your fear. All right, guys? All right, so I hope you guys remember that. You guys can always rewind this video, and you can also watch this interview on YouTube, all right? So you could just look up Chris Evans' Captain America interview, and it should be one of those videos that pop up. All right, guys, good job. So let's go ahead and stand up. And now we're gonna do something that you're probably gonna be scared of. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna close out the class with some drills, all right? So um, let's go ahead and do our balance drills, all right? So with our balance drills, let's do the front kick and round off kick drills, okay? So again, front kick is basically we just kick to the front, right? Roundhouse kick, we turn over and kick. But on the roundhouse kick, we're just gonna go ahead and practice kicking to the side, okay? Now, before we start the actual kick, we're gonna pick up our leg, and we're gonna see how long we can hold our leg up. All right, so we're gonna take our right leg first, and you know, let's try holding it for five seconds first, okay? And our goal is when I hold it up, not only do I wanna hold it up, but I wanna try not to do this. See how I'm bouncing everywhere? I don't, I don't want to bounce everywhere on one leg, okay? And I also don't want to do this. All right? I want to try to be still, okay? So I want you guys to try to pretend that you're statues on one leg, all right? So let's do it for five seconds, all right? Let's start with our right leg first, ready? And pick up your right leg, high, knee up high, and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, Five, good, all right, awesome job. Now, let's try it for 10 seconds. How many of you guys can do it for 10? Five was pretty easy. Let's try 10, all right? Ready, and leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job, guys, all right. Now, if you guys are all able to hold your um, leg for five, 10 seconds, Awesome job, okay? But if you were finding yourself dropping your foot, hey, that's okay, okay? That's why we're practicing. If you drop your foot, pop it back up right away, okay? Um, for my little smaller guys, if you need help, you know what? Maybe mom and dad could stand next to us. And if I'm about to fall over, I could hold on to mom's shoulder or dad's arm, and they could help me with their balance, okay? That's what mom and dad are there for, right? To help us, okay? Or if you have siblings, you guys can stand next to each other and try to do it, okay? Now let's try our left leg, okay? Shake your left leg, and let's do five seconds first, holding it straight up, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and relax. Let's go for 10, all right, ready? And 10 seconds, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. All right, so that was a little bit of a long 10 count. All right, good job, guys. Now, what we're gonna do is let's hold it for our roundhouse kick, right? So the roundhouse kick, we're gonna hold it here, okay? And I want you to guys, you guys at home, you're gonna go ahead and grab your ankle when you hold it, okay? It'll help out a little bit, okay? So when I bring it up, I'm gonna hold my ankle. It looks like this, okay? Hold my ankle. All right, ready? Let's try again. Ooh, five seconds only, okay? Ready? And leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Good job. All right. Now we do 10 seconds, all right? So if you need help from mom and dad, mom and dad, they're lifting up their right leg. So go ahead and stand on the left side. So that way they could reach over in case they need your help. Okay, ready? And 10 seconds. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Good job. All right, now let's do our left leg, okay? Remember, when we practice our drills with anything, we always want to practice both legs, okay? Ready? Left leg now. Five seconds. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, five seconds. <laughs> All right. Now let's do ten. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. All right, give yourselves a hand. All right. That's practicing balance, okay? Now, to close it out, let's do one more drill, okay? Let's see how many kicks we could do without putting our leg down. All right, let's try three first, okay? So last week we started with two. That was pretty easy. Let's try with three, okay? So we do front kick, three front kicks without putting a leg down. We're gonna go one, two, three, all right? Ready and go. One, two, three. Good, how about the other leg? Ready, other leg now. Left leg, ready, go. One, two, three. Good. Back to the right leg, ready? Switch it up and let's do four now. Ready, go. One, two, Three, four. Pretty good. All right, let's try the other leg now. Ready? And left leg, four kicks without putting your leg down. Go. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, on Monday, we stopped at four. This, today, let's try doing five. All right, who can do five? All right, let's try it. Ready? And make sure you guys are kicking up, okay? I don't want to do, I don't want to, I don't want you guys doing this at home. Two, three, four, five. Okay? Don't and don't do this also. Don't do it super fast, like for five. All right, that's like noodle legs. All right, we don't want noodle legs. Okay, we want to make sure that we kick out and then very good. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's do five. Ready? Go. Five good front kicks. Go one, two, three, four, five. And leg down. Relax. All right, let's do one more time. Ready? On the other leg, left leg. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Five. Good job, kids. Awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and do roundhouse kicks, and then we'll call it right there for the class. All right, so let's do the right leg first, and we're going to do three. Ready? Three without putting your leg down. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three. Other leg, left leg now. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Good. All right, four. Ready? Let's do four and go. One, two, three, four. All right. Other leg. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. All right. And another reminder no noodle legs, okay? Make sure you're not doing this stuff, okay? <laughs> Make sure you bend all the way and kick out all the way. All right. Five. All right. Let's do five. We're almost at the end. All right. Stay with it. Ready? Five. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Last five, all right? On the other leg. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Awesome job, guys. All right, shake out your legs. Shake out your legs. All right. Good job, kids. All right, hands very back. Let's face the flat, or not the flats, face the front. Chip. Sarun ke pinye. Say, kam samida. Let's put our hands on our heart and we're going to recite the tenets of Taekwondo. Ready? Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, and domo spirit. How do we lead? By example. What's our goal? Black belt excellence. And when do we quit? Never. Good job, guys. Chit. All right. Good job, kids. All right. So week two is next week. All right. So uh, really quick announcements. We are getting closer to opening our doors for like in normal days. Okay. Right now we're doing two days a week. Okay. So mom and dad, please um, and, uh, check your voicemails. Check your emails. Um, the staff, we have divided the student body into sections. 
So we're splitting up the student body on who we're calling. Okay, so I'll make sure to check those voicemails or answer those phone calls, all right? Um, so we can give you guys the full update on those, okay? Um, so um, also we're still following along with the phases of what's going on. Um, we are constantly cleaning the school, okay? Disinfecting the mats, the gear, the paddles, the shields. Um, we also have face masks and we have face shields coming in. Um, so we're doing what we can to train, to teach the kids, but also still be safe, all right? Not just the us, the instructors, the staff, but also the kids are safe and you two mom and dad are safe, okay? Um, so uh, keep that in mind. Also, um, I believe that's it. <laughs> all right, so thank you guys. Um, and remember, even though we're opening the doors for the school, you know, slowly again, you know, we're gradually and slowly going through that progression. Um, online classes will still be available, okay? So just to keep that in mind, uh, these online classes will continue to be an option also, okay? So these will continue to keep on going. All right, guys, take care. Make sure you guys are being safe out there and stay healthy. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on Monday.